Hey, this is my mushroom burger. Check that out. Is that delicious or what? Mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Wow. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll tell you why. You know, you get a chef's kind of perspective on food here and how to build real flavor. Check out the way I work the vegetables to put into my burgers. A little different. Adds flavor. Everything adds flavor. And people will eat your food and say, Wow, where'd you learn how to cook like that? And you'll say, I subscribed to Chef Dan. He's almost vegan. And you know what else I did? I rang that bell. Go for it. I went to Burger King. All right, it was a while ago. Don't get me crazy. I went to Burger King when they used to have the Whopper with sauteed mushrooms and Swiss. All right, cheese I'm not going to get involved with today, but those sauteed mushrooms on that burger, ooh, that was crazy good. I love that. Used to eat two or three at a time. Uh, what are you going to do? Anyway, what I'm doing today is I'm recreating that magic. I'm putting a lot of mushrooms in my veggie burger. It's going to be delicious. Let's get cooking. Okay, so first thing I got to do is get all the flavors going. I get the flavors going. This is how I'm going to do that. I got a nice medium-sized red onion here. And I'm just going to slice that up. Then I have a nice big carrot. And I'm going to slice that up. About that thick. I always save the end of the carrot. You know why? And that's my dog Bella under the kitchen table. She loves carrots. All right. How's that carrot, Bella? Nice. Good dog. Okay, and then I have 14 ounces of mushrooms. I don't wash them. What I do is I take a little rag and I just wipe them all clean like that. Beautiful. Nice and clean. Then we're just going to slice them. Not too thin, also about an eighth of an inch. Hey, don't trim the stem. Use the stem and everything. Teaspoon of salt. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. About a teaspoon of garlic powder and two teaspoons of oil. The pan's nice and preheated, very hot. You can hear it, you can hear it sizzling. You gotta hear that sizzle. Put it in the pan and leave it alone. Don't touch it. Don't touch it for at least a minute or two minutes. Okay, after about a minute, give it to us. Look at that caramelization. That's spectacular. Hey, you gotta give it a smell like that. That's wafting. Ooh, what a great aroma. Wonderful. Hey, I got a facial on that. That's terrific. Okay. This smells terrific. It's ready. Okay, that's a little hot to deal with right now, so I'm going to leave it to cool. Now I got to get the rest of the ingredients together. Yes. Hey, I'm using the same bowl I used uh, to toss those vegetables in oil and seasoning. 
That's okay. You don't have to even wash it out because uh, I'm gonna use it for the same the same burger. Yeah, save some time, save some energy. Don't work so hard. Okay, good. Two cups of quick cook oats. Hey, that's the oats that cook in like two minutes. Wonderful. They're like a smaller. It's like a perfect size. They're a little smaller than the than the traditional rolled oats. It's just wonderful. Then I'm going to use a half a cup of whole wheat flour. Alright. Now I need some oregano, but what I'm going to use instead is this Greek seasoning I found online. I love it. It's got a lot of oregano in it, but it's got a lot of other seasonings too. It's going to give this great flavor. Now you can use one teaspoon of oregano or a teaspoon of whatever seasoning you like. Oregano is excellent, and this Greek seasoning is also excellent. You see how fine that is? That's wonderful. I like that idea. Okay, so, one teaspoon. So the vegetables have cooled down. Look at that caramelization. Beautiful. Smells terrific. Great aroma. Look, I got a little juice in the pan. Hey, that's okay. Put that right in with it. Ooh, it's going to give some good flavor. Then I have a can of chickpeas. I use Goya, that's fine. Use whatever brand you want. Not going to matter. I drained it. I just put my hand over the top and let the water out. That's fine. You don't have to rinse it. You don't have to drain it all the way. Just get most of that water out. One can. Beautiful. Now I'm, I'm going to pulse it. Hey, there's a button on here. Right here. It says pulse. See that? I'm going to pulse it until I don't want it smooth. I want it, some texture in there. Check that out. That's like perfect. So now I'm going to take all this mixture and put it into here. I take that wet mixture and put it into that dry mixture. Hey, wash your hands. Okay, the hands are clean. I get in there and I mix this all up. Okay, I'm gonna take these burgers. My hands are nice and wet, They're like dripping wet. I take about a half a cup of that, that veggie burger mix. And I shape it into a nice patty. Beautiful. Okay, so these are going to sit for about a half hour. If you take the mixture and let the whole mixture sit for a half hour before you shape it, it's more difficult to shape. Better to shape it immediately so the mixture is softer. Then you let it sit and the mixture gets a little harder. Wonderful trick. Hey, that's fantastic. I'm a real cook, you know. Yeah, New York chef. That's why you got to subscribe to my channel. You're going to get a lot of good information from a real chef. I'm like your personal chef. So subscribe. Ring that bell. Yeah. I'm going to do some cooking here. Excellent. Okay. I turn my oven on 425 degrees. I'm preheating that oven, baby. You got to preheat your oven. Okay, the other thing I have to do, I give these a nice spray of oil. Woo, beautiful. I spray one side. I'm going to flip them over. I'm going to spray the other side. If I don't do that, they're going to burn. Hey, now they go, oh, that's hot. Okay, now they go right into a 425 degree oven. I check it in 10 minutes. It might take like 15 though. I want the bottom to be nice and brown. I gotta flip them over. Now both sides are brown. Gonna be delicious. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Let's check it out. Check out that, that browning on there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna turn these all over and put them back in the oven. Okay, I got them back in the oven. Another 15 minutes. We want them to go have a lousy cup of coffee. Because that's the only coffee I know how to make. Wonderful. Okay, I'll see you in 15. 
Okay, so the burger came out of the oven. Beautiful, nice and firm and wonderful. Look at that. That's nice. Look at the browning on there. Nice. I got that beautiful mushroom burger. I don't like to use lettuce too much, so I use a nice fresh spinach. Nice baby spinach. Wonderful. And just a few tomatoes. Look at that. Hey, that's a beautiful burger. Check that out. That's like a picture. Hey, if you like this burger, you gotta check out my breakfast burger. It's like a sausage patty. I put a fried egg on it. You don't have to if you don't want to. It's wonderful. Gotta check out that video. I'll see you there. Woo! I'm gonna eat this up, man.